Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to get SP, EXP, and Voxos easily in this video. And there's basically three main steps that you want to do, and I'm going to go through all of them today. So first things first, if you're lower level, you could just come to the tundra. So this is the tundra entrance right next to the flora forest and the swamp. And then all you have to do is just climb up here. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, we're on the road to 1k, and I want to thank you all for 500 subs, it really helps me a lot, and I appreciate all the love and support, thank you. Okay, and then once you're here, uh, this is the entrance of Tundra, and you just want to go through here, and then take a right. And here is the Tundra Void Rift. Now, you do need to be level 30 for this, so if you want to grind the maximum amount of XP, you want to be high level. So you just want to put on your combat gear, and uh, you can just do it. You want to be vamp for something like this, because it's just way easier to do it with the sustainer vamp gives, or just have a lot of health pots. And that should be it, Rift Close. So you see you got 250 Voxes and EXP. And all you want to do is keep on hopping. If you got a private server like me, all you have to do is just leave the server and rejoin because it will close down the server. And once you rejoin, the Void Rift will be open again, it will go off cooldown. If not, all you got to do is just server hop and find servers that have the Void Rift not closed. And then after you do the Void Rift, all you got to do is go to Swamp for the next part. Okay, so once you're here, what you want to do is if you're a high level, Make it corrupted, so all you have to do is talk to the statue and then use binded corruption. So what you need is a binded corruption, so one of these, and it consumes it, but it makes the dungeon corrupted. And then once you go into settings, there should be a, a corruption option here, which says false. You want to click on it and make it true. Uh, you can do daily challenge for more loot, and the more difficulty you have, the more loot you have, and the more money they give. So if you can do it at difficulty 2 with a big group in the Discord, you can find a lot of groups. Uh, once you complete the dungeon, it goes on an hour cooldown, but you could just uh, keep on coming back to it after the cooldown's done. And then that's just some really good granny XP. Okay, and then the next one will go to Beehive. Okay, so for the next part, you want to go to Flora Fields, and the Beehive's over there, so you just want to go to it real quick. Alright, so once you're here, same thing as the other dungeon, just make it too difficulty if you have a team with you. If not, just do, do as high a difficulty as you can. D daily challenge if you want the extra loot which uh, you want to do at least once a day and it uh, gives you SP and uh, you want to do this on cooldown as well so it has an hour cooldown each of the dungeons so whenever it's on cooldown you could just go do the tundra farm like I've shown but it's an hour each time this one's level 30 so it's higher level than the frog dungeon and it gives more XP but the frog dungeon does drop brilliant presence from the crop mode so I suggest uh, spamming the frog dungeon at difficulty 2 with uh, corruption all you gotta do is just find a squad on discord and uh, you should be fine and the last place is in the desert so what you want to do is uh once you come into the desert you just want to grind khaki and just keep killing them and get their prickly pairs if you have looters set like here th these looters outfits you can make from the crafting table you can go check over there and you'll see it so if you make the looter set you can easily get pairs if i can find any so what you want to do is you want to find khaki like this and then you can find uh, the prickly pairs that you drop like that and then what you need is exactly 100 prickly pairs. I only have 30 on me right now. But you need 100. And then uh, you want to come to a statue over here. Once you go over to the statue, what you want to do is you can press E on this uh, statue to sacrifice a pair, which will take your pair and it will consume it. What you want to do is sacrifice 100 pairs and it will spawn in the Khaki King. And uh, Khaki King is really good for XP, it's really good for money, and it has some really wanted drops that are rare. But yeah guys, that's mostly it for the video, so what you really want to do is just farm those two dungeons that I showed you earlier. Uh, and then if they're on cooldown, what you want to do is either do Khaki King if you want the loot and stuff, or if you just mainly want XP and money, you can go to uh, the Tundra. Do each dungeon on daily challenge once, at least once every day, because they each give you 5 SP, which on high level accounts like this, which is uh, hard to level up, uh, is basically going to be your main way of getting uh, SP. But yeah, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.